And going forward, I think what I want to do um, is rather than focus on a genre, focus just on what I've been playing this month mm -hmm. um, to try and keep things a bit more in the present and also get a better idea of what you guys are playing because presumably you're watching these videos because you're also on services like PS Now and Game Pass. So if I'm telling you about what I'm playing this month, then there can be a bit of a conversation there about what you're playing and I can pick up new games based on your that was the plan and vice versa that was so the plan that's my vision for next year on the channel um and maybe just some some streaming plays into that so it's a bit more kind of in the moment like okay. this is why i'm playing enough for that. i just looked through my 2021 channel update um to see because this is another channel update my third of the year and we're in april it's almost one a month this third update uh, has a little bittersweet flavor to it um, because I, I'm going to take a break for a while. I haven't made videos very consistently for a while now and um, I basically just want to talk about the reasons why I'm going to take a break for a bit. Hopefully it isn't very long and hopefully when I come back it will be on a much more consistent basis making content that I am more comfortable and happy making and you guys um, still want to watch. So I've been making videos for about 18 months now um, But really I kind of see it like a year the first I've initially started the channel as a way to bolster my writing portfolio um, Trying to get into games media um, But the first video that kind of actually gained a lot of traction far more traction than I was expecting was back in March 2020 the first PlayStation now game list video I did and it came at the same time when we were all going to, into lockdown, March 2020, as I not so subtly point out at the start of the video. Um, and obviously, as we've all been less and less able and expected to go outside, um, that definitely made it all the more easy for YouTube to just kind of consume me. I don't mean that in a bad way. Just because I enjoyed making videos and the whole thing has been a big learning experience for me from you know, learning how to edit and put together videos from scratch and not just editing, but also learning how to create content for an audience. Um, because despite all the videos I looked at at the start when I was getting going, telling me that, you know, you need to niche down, respect your audience and give them the content that they're showing, their in showing you they're interested in. I still kept experimenting because I wasn't sure what I really wanted the channel to be. And I'm still not totally sure. I think I'm getting there. I never really intended PlayStation Now to be my niche, even if maybe I should make it like that. Um, I like playing games in all their forms. You know, I don't, I don't want to have to restrict what I'm playing to cater to the to making videos, which I have done at some points when I was making those early genre-based lists. Um, you know, I found myself like, oh, I have to play all the RPGs on PlayStation now, which there are loads of, and they all take such a massive amount of time. So the main reason the channel has kind of gone off in quite a few different directions since it started is mainly because I'm just not sure where it was going. <laughs> I didn't have any control over it, really. Um, but I would be lying if I said that some of the videos I've made based on the decision of hoping they blow up to use a really cringy and overused term. Basically, I allowed YouTube and the allure of YouTube to take over actually searching for a real job. I've noticed now that that was impacting the kind of videos I was making. So I was creating them on topics that I thought might have the ability to, you know, basically go into the YouTube search algorithm and get picked up, which is not what I want to do. I don't want to create videos for the views. I want to create videos because I like making them. They're on a topic that I like and I know that my, the audience I have right now will appreciate them, not this elusive hundreds of thousands of millions of viewers on YouTube that could see my videos. I don't want to make them for them. I want to make them for you because you're the guys that actually are here right now and support me at the moment. That's why I made the decision to change the type of videos I'm making even though I haven't got around to making them yet, is because I want that sense of community, basically. So we can talk about the games that I'm playing right now and that you're playing right now um, and get through 
the PlayStation Now library together and Game Pass. I don't want to move away from Game Pass either. Um, it has been a little difficult. And again, this is because I got hooked on trying to make videos and, and grow the audience. But at the same time, making an Xbox Game Pass video like, like the Xbox Game Pass game list, so the same version as the PlayStation game list, but for Game Pass, putting just as much time into that, if not more actually for that one, because it was the first one I used with a green screen, um, to put that much effort into that and it to just kind of not get no traction and, and no acknowledgement, but you know, not, just not on the same level, um, it's kind of disheartening. And again, that makes it seem like I'm doing this for the wrong reasons. Maybe I was, but you know, I, I use Game Pass as much as I use PlayStation now. So I just, it just seems natural that I would make videos about that as well. And I know there is a part of the audience that appreciate those Game Pass videos. Um, but maybe, maybe I got confused thinking that if you're here for PlayStation now, you'd also look at the Game Pass stuff, which maybe isn't true. Um, and I'd appreciate knowing if if that is you. Like, if if you came, whichever side you're on, do you do you watch both videos or not? Um, that would be good to know. Ultimately, I just want to make videos because I want to play games and talk about them with you guys, and I enjoy making videos about that. And that it is that simple. It sounds like obvious and it is obvious but it, it's weird like I definitely got into the rabbit hole of of trying to become a youtuber I guess but I already am a youtuber so it's a silly comparison to make but it, it is just the allure of YouTube you know when you see all these numbers and the channels with such insane interaction in, and like massive communities um it's very strange because you know, I made it to 3,000 subscribers, which if I got in a room with 3,000 people and was asked, you know, to go on stage and, and perform <laughs> or speak to you, I probably probably couldn't do it. I'd probably shit myself. Anyway, the, the, so the reason for taking a break from all this is to give myself time to kind of recollect because I've been doing this for over a year and a half without a break pretty much. I know it may seem because of the length between videos that I have taken breaks but it's always I've always been working on a video in some form um, so it will be nice to just kind of take a step back and look into finding a real job in video games and that's what this channel has really helped me realize is that I love video games so much that I do want them to just be part of my life work life and you know outside of that just all the time, really. So uh, I'm gonna look into uh, a job in the game industry. And I feel like in order to do that well and give that the focus and the attention it requires, I just need to take a step back from YouTube because I've basically been trying to look for a job on the side for a while and the, the video making just um, takes over basically, which is my fault. You know, I should be able to do both, but um, I'm taking this drastic action. Uh, as, a, as a way to force myself into focusing on that. I'm also going through a bit of a change in my personal life, which I'm obviously not going to go into the details of. Um, but it just seems like a, 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 the right time to press pause um, and recollect myself, I guess. I don't know how long it'll be. Um, hopefully, if, if I seem like an employable person, I might be back in a couple weeks. Um, but I, I can't really say how long this hiatus will be, but hopefully not too long. Um, in the meantime, I hope you're all doing great. Hopefully this will be my last channel update for a while. <laughs> Thanks for continuing to watch, no matter how long you've been here, whether it's one video or a hundred. I don't have a hundred videos, a hundred minutes. Whatever it is, however long you've been here, thank you. And I mean that genuinely. Thank you for supporting this channel, watching my videos, making me laugh, keeping the comments going. Um, hopefully I'll be back better than ever, but until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.